hello and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of stopping by this channel you're hardly welcome and please do consider clicking on that red bell subscribe button also click on notification bell that pops up immediately you've subscribed so that youtube can notify you whenever i post a new video videos like this one in today's video we'll be talking about yeast infection yes yeast infection if you're a woman if you're a lady already know what this yeast infection is because it's the commonest type of infection any woman suffer from okay if you're a man you might have heard your woman or your wife complain to you about this yeast infection symptoms of yeast infection they are one severe itching around the vj i'm going to use the word vj for the purpose of this video severe itching on and around the vj the second symptom of yeast infection is inflammation on and around the vj the third one is that thick whitish or milkish discharge from the vj remember the three things i said one severe itching and two inflammation on and around the vj the third one is discharge the thick white or milkish discharge from the vj okay these are the three symptoms that will tell you hey this is yeast infection all right so if a woman that wants to keep your man you don't want your man to leave you for a side chick because of this thing just stick around and watch this video to the end so you get a natural remedy to cure this yeast infection if a man please don't leave your wife for a side chick because of yeast infection it has a quick cure a natural remedy for it okay just stick with your woman and tell her about this natural remedy for yeast infection and she will be good as new very good very very good to go all right okay loves follow me so as i teach you as i show you the way to prepare this thing to make to cure yeast infection follow me so that i will show you how to make use of clove to cure yeast infection for those that don't know what clove is i'm going to insert it for you on the screen so that you know what clove is but some of you already know what clove is so let's just go and prepare this remedy for yeast infection all right loves this is the clove this is what we need to get rid of the yeast infection all right so if you have itching around your vj remember i'm going to use vj for the purpose of this video so if you have itching on and around your vj if you have inflamed vj or if you have that thick milkish or whitish vj discharge just get this clove this is what you need to get rid of all these things okay then you get a bow a clean bow that is deep enough please let it be as deep as my own because we need to put hot water inside this and make sure that the bowl can handle hot water okay this bowl i'm using here is the one that was given to me by the hospital but please get the one that can fit into your wc all right then you pour in your clove followed by hot water please make use of hot water that had just boiled don't use warm water for this no make use of hot water after pouring in your hot water you are going to take this to your wc and you sit on it all right please as you are pouring water inside this just make sure that you leave space so that the water won't touch your body please don't burn yourself just pour in enough water that you can sit on it and it won't touch your body after that just take this to the wc your wc and place it on it place it in such a way that you can sit on it place it on your wc and you sit on it sit on this for 10 to 15 minutes please 10 to 15 minutes or should i say sit on it until you stop feeling the heat from this bowl then the next thing you are going to do is to also get one cup of clove now this is the second step but before you start with this second step make sure that you've done the first step you are through with the sitting the seat bath okay you are through with the sitting then after sitting you now follow this second step okay this works hand in hand 
get this one cup of clove and get any container of choice just make sure that the container has a lid then you pour in enough water i'm going to pour in water that will almost fill in this container pour in enough water the amount of clove you're going to use for it for this depends on the container the the type of container you are using okay so if your container is bigger than mine you increase the quantity of the clove you are going to add all right pour in enough water inside the container and you close it okay with this second step you don't need the hot water what you need now is cold water you don't need hot water for this second step okay just fetch water from your gallon from your tap from anywhere water that is not just that is not hot water for this and pour it inside your container after closing this we're going to leave this to, to soak for three days i repeat please let it soak for three days not two days or three days we are going to leave this inside this container for a whole three days complete three days not two and a half day days three days they will come back and i'll continue with this video all right this is three the third day so after three days this is what is looking like you see it has drastically changed okay the color has changed very very well this is so different from how it was the first day we put this clove inside the water then i'm going to open it up so you see what it looks like inside you can see you can see the color you can see how deep it is this is exactly what we want this is exactly what you want your clove water to look like okay what we are going to do next is to save this we're going to separate the clove from the clove water we don't need the clove anymore just the water this is our clove can you see this is how it was looking like before we soaked it and this is how it is looking like now after three days you can see you can see the difference both in color and in size this is how you will know that you've soaked this enough okay that you got this very well you got it exactly as i said it your clothes must be looking like this okay then after saving it we will get this clove water this is exactly what we need what do you need this for just make use of this to wash your vj wash your vj with this if you notice any pepperish feeling around your vj know that you have the yeast infection and don't stop just continue washing your vj with this clove water until you stop getting that pepperish feeling when you stop it stop feeling pepperish around your vj that means you will know that the yeast infection has gone okay so do this until you stop feeling that pepperish feel you stop noticing that pepperish feeling on and around your vj just wash your vj continue washing your vj with this clove water okay wash it for as long as you need then you stop all right all right loves i've come to the end of today's video if you love this video please give me thumbs up and see you in my next video remain blessed